Okay, so the first thing you need to do for try auditioning for the jazz band and guitar is you need to learn the chords on the neck of the guitar. And to do that, you have to learn a couple basic chords for this. And um, so I'm going to show you what the chords are right now. They are, uh, let's for example, here's the G chord right here. G7. G7, third fret, bar, fourth, third string, fifth string. Okay, there's your G7 chord. Here's your C7 chord. Here's the C7 note. So, third fret. Fifth fret on the second and fourth strings. Like that. Those are two basic seventh chords. Okay, here's a minor seventh chord, which is going to be G minor seven. We're going to change the G seven. Into G minor seven by taking off this finger. So it's going to be just fifth fret and third fret. That's G minor seven. Here is your C major seven, C seven, sorry, C seven. We're gonna move this pinky down one fret. Second string, fourth string. Like that is your C minor seven. So C minor seven, C seven, G seven, G minor seven. Basic, basic chords you need to know. Couple more. G major seven is going to be this one right here. No. So it's going to be. Here and here, you you I I usually put this down. You don't have to, but just make sure that this string, this, the fifth string, is muffled as you're pushing this down. Okay. Or you can do it like this. Second string, third string, fourth string, sixth string. That's your G major seven or G big M seven. And here is an easier one, which is the C major seven, which is going to be barring third fret, fifth fret on the second string, fourth fret on the third string. Fifth fret on the fourth string. C major seven. So here's your G major seven, C major seven. Okay? So <clears throat> those are six chords you need to know. Now I'm going to teach you a diminished chord and a sixth chord. The diminished chord that I want to teach you is this one right here. It's going to be a C diminished, which looks like this. I'm going to bar this second fret, but you only have to actually push down the third string. One, two, three on the second fret. And then on the fifth string, you've got third fret, third fret, fifth string. On the fourth string, you've got fourth fret. On the second string, you've got fourth fret. And you're going to play the, only the interior four strings. Cool, cool sounding chord because you can actually move this chord up a minor third. Wait. There you go. I like this. I'm so sure. Cool. 
diminished chord. C diminished. Okay, so this is a D sharp diminished right there, which we're going to use later on in the next video. Two more chords to know are the 7 flat 9 chord and the minor 7 flat 5. So 7 flat 9, here's your C7. 7. 7 flat 9, C7 flat 9 is going to be this. You're going to bar the 2nd fret. You're going to put your middle finger on the 5th fifth, fifth string's 3rd fret, your ring finger on the 3rd string, 3rd fret. C7 flat 9. Very cool chord. Then we have the C minor 7. Here's C minor 7. But you're flat 5, so you're going to go like this. Barring 3rd fret, middle finger hits 4th string, 4th fret, ring finger, 2nd string, 4th fret. This is a C minor 7 flat 5. Very important chord. C 7 flat 9. C minor 7 flat 5. 